Corey, do obliques help you at all? Do you look for obliques to look for any, you know, bony, you know, you know, osteophytes in the foramen? I'm just curious if anybody uses those. I actually do. I find them immensely helpful. Most of the time, I I don't order themselves, but when patients come with them, they've already had them done. They were ordered before they got to me. I find them to be actually really helpful if they're done appropriately. I don't think that they replace the value of a CT scan. And ultimately, if I get a CT scan, that's really going to give me the best visualization of the frame. And, but looking at a axial MRI, sometimes the cuts aren't right through the frame. And sometimes you can be kind of faked out on, um, you know, whether it's soft or is it bony. And I think that, you know, doing some sort of imaging to actually look at uncovertebral joints and the foramen is super important. So ultimately, most of the time, if I'm going to operate on somebody, they're going to just be like exactly what we had here. I'd get a CT scan to evaluate. And so it kind of obviates that need for an oblique radiograph. But when it comes to me, and oftentimes they don't have a CT, it can be really helpful to look and study those foramen. And you, you can be really easily tipped off whether uh, one of them is, is occluded, particularly in older patients where you're not looking at a soft disc, but you're looking at more of a degenerative spondylotic disease picture. Yeah, I totally agree, especially, I mean, this patient at a very high level, he's young, right? He's 32. We, we want to avoid surgery at all cost. So if it's a soft disc, something that should improve on its own, you want to try to avoid surgery. But if you get those obliques and you just see a lot of oncovertebral osteophytes, a lot of bone in the frame, and it makes you feel much better that, okay, maybe this thing's just not going to get better on its own and that he's going to require surgery.